Alright, well the first part of, of making a bowstring is the layup process. That's what we're going to go through and show you now. Uh, for the layup process, you need basically a layup jig, which is what I have here. Um, the the uh, second process is what, what we'll do is the uh, burnishing and twisting. We'll do that also on this jig, and then we will stretch it. I've got some stretchers back there I can show you in just a minute, and then after it's good and stretched, everything's relaxed, then we go to the, uh, the serving process. So we'll start with the uh, layup process right now. Um, this string that I'm making right here, get my build sheet, this is going to be an 85 and uh, 3 quarter inch string. It's for a single cam bare bow. Uh, I misspoke there. It's actually going to be for an 85 inch string. I've got my post set up here at 85 and 3 quarters. The reason for that is after we lay it up we had to put twists in it and when you twist it it, str it shrinks. So there's a math formula. Uh, the math formula in short is basically your final string length times 0.75 that'll give you your twist rate, your number of twists. Then you take that number, multiply it times 0 0.012 that gives you your additional uh, adjustment for uh, the shrinkage when you twist. Then you add that to your original length. So I'm going to be building an 85 inch string. My posts are set at 85 and 3 quarter. So I'll uh, get this started here. The material I'm using today is uh, Brownell Fury. Um, I've been using that ever since I started. I really like it. Basically I'm going to lay up some strands here. I'm going to, uh, there's uh, 28 strands on a string, and so I will, now that's 28 strands, so that's 14 loops. So we just started one down there, so that's an entire loop, so we'll do, two. that's one, two, key, key here. Just keeping constant pressure on my spool here where the string's getting pulled off. Seven. So then I've got seven loops, which is 14 strands. The reason I stopped here is there something I want to explain. If I were going to be doing a two color string, there would be half the color, like if I, you know, like back here I've got a two color string. This would be the point in the string where I would cut this off and then start down there with a different color. But since this is going to be a one color string, it's camouflage, but the, 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 there's a variance in the colors on the actual string material. I'm just going to continue to go and I'm not going to stop and break it off here. But if I was making a two color string, this would be the point in the process where I'd cut the string and go to color number two, lay another seven loops or another 14 strands. So I've got the string laid up. I've got all the wraps wrapped around my post. And I'm ready to tag in this, this uh, finished end right here. So what I'll do is I'll put a tag in here. Corey will zoom in on here and, and I'll show you how that's done. And then we'll have to put a tag end on the other. Take off one of your tags, make a little square knot behind the, behind the bundle. Center that square knot behind that post. One side comes up the bottom, the other side goes down the top. And you pull gently, let that knot slide around the back of the post. That one will go down the top, this one will go up the bottom. You just start stacking knots right on top of one another. 
down the top, up the bottom. And once I got three of those tied in there, it's not going anywhere, I can do each individual side and take up some time. So if you've heard the term endless, endless bowstring, this is why, because this is all one piece of material here. Then when I get about three quarters of an inch of my tag end wrapped around one string, what I'll do is I'll split this string, one side of the string, scoop through there, pull it tight, come back around, split it in half at a different area, come around, and I split that once again. And then that side's finished. Do the same thing over here. Kind of got to walk the fine line here. You got to pull these real tight, but you got to be careful because this stuff will cut you. I've had a cut in the crook of my knuckle for the last three months during the busy season, just the way it is. Now, when I finish wrapping these tag ends around the string, and I start cutting through this, or separating the string and pulling it through, you want to stagger where you stop, about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. So, I'm going to make this leg a little bit longer than this side. So, when I stop, they're offset, because when I put my serving on there, it'll just make a better, nicer transition won't give me a bump there. Cut that off and we're done with that end. Now we got to do the same thing on this end. However, there's no tag, there's no loose ends, there's no tag ends on that end because they're both over here. Because this is a, only one piece. Now if I had a two color bowstring, I'd have a different color tag end over here, but since this is a one color bowstring, both my tags are down there. So what I've got to do is make what's called a dummy tag. It's real simple. I just peel off a couple feet, a couple feet of material. And I just take that, take my, take my material, split these ends, or split the two, st two styes. Pull it around back. Simple square knot. That square knot will stop right at the back of that post. And I do the exact same thing. That one went top down. This one will go down up. Pull that knot tighten back. Same thing, pull that out and back, stack that knot. Pull those knots, make sure they stack real tight. If they, uh, if they don't stack real tight, you'll have a little bit of a separation. It's purely cosmetic. It'll be hidden in the post. It'll be on the post of your cam. The string's still going to hold tight. Since I've got several in there, I'm just going to do one leg at a time. So now I'll just split that string, pull it through, back it up. Split it again, different spot, stack it up against the other, and I do that three times a side. Then it will get served over and that string will never come apart. I'm going to make this side longer than the other where I stop so I can have a nice transition when I serve over top of it. See, 
see this one's a little bit back further than the other. Uh, well, since it's, I've got them staggered, I'll split it and cut it off. Okay, so the string's laid up. We've got both the tag ends over here. So now what we're going to have to do is I got to twist it and burnish it. Um, before I do that, the important part is I've got to put my string separator in for my peep sight. Sometimes I forget those and I got to redo the whole process. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm putting my uh, I got to put a peep sight separator in here. So once you get them all twisted and burnished together, you want when you go to put your peep in the set in the string, you want to have e obviously you want to have equal strands on each side. So what I do is I put a peep separator in it, just just, just a little piece of scrap material, separate the strands so we can get the perfect peep strands on each side. On this string, my uh, center serving is the top of my center serving is going to be at 30 and a half inches. So I'll just go a couple inches above that, throw a piece of material in there, so that way when uh, whoever gets this bow, if it goes to the shop or a customer or whatever, they'll know right where I got those uh, bundles separated from so they can uh, put their peep sight in and not have to try to mess with and count strands. Hey, proceed to part two of this series, burnishing the string. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button in the lower right-hand part of your screen. Thanks a lot.